We finally have an update from Tesla on full self-driving here in Australia. It, well, it's coming very soon. Tesla has responded publicly and they have said the Australian government has cleared the way, cleared the way for it to happen. If you're one of those people who would prefer to not have to drive, if you live in Melbourne or Sydney or even Brisbane, and you're doing a busy commute every day and it stresses you out. For me, it, I think it takes a significant amount of brain power to deal with these kind of heavy commutes. This could be awesome. If you already own a Tesla and you purchase full self-driving, well, not long to go. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. And thank you for supporting the channel. Tesla have responded. There was a full self-driving demo video revealed in the streets of Sydney. Tesla revealed that video a few days ago and it looks like it's working quite well. It's a Tesla Model 3. There was no driver input on the drive. The video was filmed in Melbourne and the car made one of the most difficult turns in the world. I don't think there's any question about that. That's not hyperbole whatsoever. The hook turn. It, I've never been to another country in the world, at least not driven one, in one where there is a hook turn that you have to do. Basically, you turn right from the left side of the road. It's very strange, but somehow Tesla have been able to program that information into full self-driving. It can do those turns. Tesla has now released another video after two months' time has passed since the last video with supervised full self-driving in the streets of Sydney. So Tesla has been testing full self-driving in Melbourne and Sydney, in the middle, in the, well, the most difficult places, right in the city. You can see the driver is, um, what he does is he puts in the destination, then the car drives itself to that actual destination. On the way, the car goes through a roundabout at the start of the trip, and this is where it's, in the inner city of Sydney, you can see the Harbour Bridge and the Opera House the car then navigates some challenging narrow streets and allows pedestrians to cross, drives through intersections behind a bus before arriving at its final destination. So it did quite well. This wasn't a super long drive, but it's enough, I think, to show that it works, full self-driving works in Australia. So this is the second video Tesla released. There's one for Sydney, one for Melbourne. And after this video was shared, um, full self-driving software owners in Australia have said stuff, they're stoked, they're all, they're, they're like, wow, finally, we want, we paid for this. We, we, we really want to be able to use it. They haven't been able to use it. One person said, I love this. Let's hope we can experience this soon. The Driven reported on this, or Riz from The Driven reported on this, and he said that previously the supervised full self-driving has been spotted to be testing in the United States. Of course, it's been approved in um, uh, Texas, but also it's being tested in Canada, Mexico, China, France, and a few left-hand drive European countries right now. Mexico was the first market to have a video released showcasing the car driving on the local streets in Mexico in February. Later that month, a version of the full self-driving software was released in China, and there's been tests shown in China with people driving their cars on full self-driving, and it works extremely well. There's basically no interventions or very, 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 very rare interventions. It appears that it's honestly very, very successful in China. A lot of the naysayers said China is too hard, the way people drive in China, full self-driving is never going to work. I heard that, Electric said that, and that appears to be wrong from the actual videos that I've seen. And it does appear to actually successfully navigate streets in China. Not just for a minute, but literally for hours. Full self-driving, um, the question is, when will it be approved in different countries around the world? Well, we do have a response here from... Uh, Tesla breaking. Tesla Australia's country director provides rare update on full self-driving supervised deployment from Tech AU. Following yesterday's video of full self-driving supervised running in Sydney, Tesla's country director provide a rare insight into the upcoming full self-driving launch in Australia. He said this, we've been working with local authorities across Australia and New Zealand and there are no regulatory blockers for release. We are running through the final stages of validation prior to public release, looking to start with hardware four on certain vehicles and then release in phases from there. So it appears it is official. It's literally months away before full self, it could even be less than that, but I'm trying to give them some grace period here. It appears as though Tesla are about to actually 
start allowing people to use for self-driving in Australia. The government has said, yep, you can use it. It's okay. It's safer than a normal human being. To be honest, it's not hard to be safer than a normal human being. Look, we all get tired. Um, we often miss people in our mirrors. Uh, we don't have eyes in the back of our heads. The truth is humans cause thousands and thousands of crashes every year. So I think that it's pretty clear that it's going to be safer than a human being. I personally, if everyone on the roads, right, tomorrow was using full self-driving from Tesla, it wouldn't be perfect, but I'm pretty sure we wouldn't have, you know, more than a thousand deaths every year. So this is good news. I think this is going to be great. And Tesla stock price, I'm going to guess, is going to spike up again. Uh, even though, yes, it's true, Tesla's sales, car sales are struggling, I still think that um, this will have a big effect on the company. Finally, people who have ordered this can get it. But most people with Tesla's full self-driving in Australia don't have hardware four, they have hardware three. So I'm not sure what, what's going to happen there. I don't think Tesla's going to be able to get full self-driving to properly work with hardware three. But I could be wrong. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. Guys, for years, people said that I was sponsored by Tesla. If you were to read some of the media sources in the United States and, you know, Western sources like electric, you would think that Tesla's full self-driving in places like China sucks. You'd think, well, it's not very good. These people are saying it's useless. What's the point of it? But actually, that's not true. If you actually look at this actual videos showing people using Tesla's full self-driving in China, it's actually remarkably good. In fact, someone says they've been using it now for one month every day and have not had a single intervention. I don't know if I believe that, but um, if that's accurate, then you can see why people are hacking their Teslas to get full self-driving for free. Well, actually, not for free, for about $200. Is this video, am I, am I endorsing you doing this? Hacking your Tesla to get full self-driving for free? I'm not endorsing it. I'm just telling you, you can do it. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. Guys, for years, people said that I was sponsored by Tesla. People, there was thousands of comments on this YouTube channel over the years saying, the electric Viking, don't listen to him. He's sponsored by Tesla. He's biased about Tesla. He's just going to say whatever his sponsors pay him to say, which is interesting because I don't think Tesla actually sponsors anyone. It's not, not that I'm aware of anyway. At least they, at least I'm not getting anything from them and I never did, unfortunately. So truth is, um, I've never had any incentive to actually say you should or shouldn't do anything. You should buy a Tesla or not buy a Tesla. And that's still the case 